Hey, curious. You know, I was going to bring up some names, but I thought, wow, I better not because, you know, there's going to be a big flagging war pretty soon. And I just don't want to be involved, you know. But there was some pretty uh, big names in the YouTube community and um, well, the atheist community or the great debate community, what it's called now, whatever, right? The, um, the regressives. <laughs> no, but, um, okay, there's this thing going on, and if you know who it is, you probably know who I'm talking about. If you don't, sorry, but I can't mention names. But there's this, uh, uh, guy who's transitioning into a trans woman. And then there's this big YouTuber that is getting accused by some other feminist uh, that um, he's homophobic and uh, he puts out dick pics and he he, try, he he harasses women online, you know, with sexually suggestive things. And so on and such with. And the whole crux of this whole thing was that he uh, he was supposed to be transphobic because he he called this uh, uh, trans woman who hasn't completely uh, transitioned yet if she's going to or not. I don't know. She's a woman now, you know. So, you know. Um, uh, he... He propositioned her like he supposedly did these uh, uh, feminists, and uh, he um, well he uh, how do I say this? Um, he called her sweetie and honey and okay, baby, I don't know if baby was right, if he said that or not, but he said uh, some things, right? And and she was like, the trans woman was like, oh, I'm not comfortable with this, you know? And then it got online, it got into a big stink, and it, and it got into transphobia and stuff and all this stuff, because when she didn't like this, uh, he said, uh, Ooh, almost mentioned her name there. <laughs> no, he he mentioned he said, "Oh, uh, okay, sir." So he he dead named her or something, and all this liberal horse shit, right? So okay, yeah, whatever, right? You know, trans woman, you know. But it got me thinking, you know, what if um he wasn't being transphobic? What um. What if he was soliciting a little online sex? You know, because uh, people are uh, sex skyping. You know, instead of sex testing, they're sex skyping. But but I don't know if I can blame this guy because he he's you know he he's trying to put out the feelers without being offensive, and some of these people are giving him the friggin' uh, yellow light or green light, you know, or at least the friggin', uh, what do they call that? Um, blurred lines, you know, like that music video, you know. Uh, there's, uh, yeah, there's blurred lines, you know, it's like, well, I don't know, but yeah, no. No, you're offending me now, you know, and you offended, and you harassed me in retrospect. And it's like, what are you supposed to do? You know, wait for, it's all Sadie Hopkins feminism, where it's freaking, you have to wait for the freaking woman to freaking, um, initiate something, you know, or, or anything you say, even in retrospect, might be offensive. You know, of course, freaking online Skype sex is freaking shady shifty shit anyway but hey it happens you know and it's never happened for me you know, but it happens you know and it's like you know I, I if I was maybe halfway attractive I might put it out there but you know I could 
I, if I tried that, I'd get laughed off the goddamn internet. You know, that's not very nice. <laughs> but the point is, <laughs> is that this transsexual, I mean this trans woman, and I'm not saying tranny, I'm just saying trans woman, you know, fuck the political and political correctness and whatever, right? This trans woman, um, I don't think it's transphobic to try to use a, um, a generalization to a woman. It's supposed to be a woman, so it's a trans woman. You know, I'm not going to say that that's really a man, you know. Right, right, whatever, right. But, um, the point is that, okay, let's, let's say trans women are women and, you know, and just agree on that point right now, right? Um, whether it's a trans woman or a woman, how, how do you... How do you put out feelers without being... Eh, aren't you supposed to solicit an interest and see if they're interested? But if they're not telling you they're interested or they're giving you blurred... Uh, mixed signals, blurred lines, how is it your fault? And another thing is that... How is it transphobic to show an interest in a trans woman. Maybe this guy was showing a interest in a little friggin trans woman Skype sex. You know, maybe his thing was, well, I don't discriminate. I a baby. You know, and, and Here's little friggin' data 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 with their little glasses going. You're hitting on me. Oh, bop, bop, bop. Well, baby, you're a trans woman now. You're a woman. You're now on the other side of the fence. And for some people that are inclusive, that makes you eligible. To be attracted to them. So maybe you are going to get a few bites now. You're not the one fishing anymore. You're the one friggin' there's the bait dangling in front of you. Hi. Hiya, cutie. Hiya, sweetie. You know, how you doing? What you doing? Want to see a dick pic? <laughs> Ah! How does that break a deal for you? You want a female hetero experience? Well, if you're hetero or or whatever you are, uh, would that make you homosexual? If you still like women, if you're a trans woman, or does that make you heterosexual? Uh. That you're going through, I guess, the counseling, and you're growing your hair out, and, you know, and doing the dressing and the makeup, but I don't think you've done the hormones yet, or, or had any operations yet, or, but you're still a woman, so is that hetero or homosexual? together. Keep it together. You know, people are serious about this shit. You don't want to get friggin' pissed off. Ooh. Okay. Ha. <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's like, join the patriarchy now, buddy! <laughs> I gotta go. I can't do it. I can't do it. I'm sorry. <laughs>
<laughs> Welcome to the new normal. <laughs> buckle up, buckle up. <laughs> oh my god, no, make it stop, make it stop. <laughs>